Well, of course, it was a small town when we first arrived, and I loved Orlando. We had been here a few years prior to that when Charlie was working on his Ph.D. He had um, he spent two months at the First National Bank of Orlando, which is now SunTrust, working with Mr. Linton Allen, and um, that was part of his thesis and his research. So I had been here, but really, you know, didn't meet too many people when we were here that two months. But we came here, and this town was just so warm and so wonderful to us. Now, I will have to say that in Tampa, when we went there, their arms were not as open and they were not as friendly towards the University of South Florida because they had the University of Tampa. And so many of the people were, you know, supporting it and behind that. But we came over here, and even though there is a, another university here, uh, it was totally different. Everybody was just super, super nice. And we, um, we just felt at home immediately. We did. The connection with the community and the university. This was a little bit difficult in the beginning. People in Orlando felt that the university was, you know, so far away. Before the, we opened the university, we had four different Saturdays that we entertained groups of people. We had two large buses there that bussed them out to the campus. It turned out to be so much fun and so successful, and the utility plant was air-conditioned, because this was in the summer when it was very hot. Uh, and we drove, you know, they drove them around the campus to tell them what building might be built here one day, because, you know, there were very few that were under construction in the beginning. But that was very, very successful. There were many special times, and they didn't all have to be VIPs. Disney World and expanding industry ensure a sound future for the Orlando area. See, we arrived here about the time that Disney was going to be getting underway, and that was a very exciting time. Charlie had always wanted one of the presidents to come and speak for his commencement. He thought of how nice it would be. They were on their way to Miami to their home down there, and they stopped off here and then flew on down. And you see, having it in the reflecting pool was ideal because the Secret Service men could be standing on the roof of all those buildings surrounding it. So it was very safe and very secure. I met a lot of wonderful people, and people in the arts and in the music world, and. They meant a great deal to us. Well, I think my legacy, along with my husband, would be the relationship that we have been able to bring to the university, uh, from the community, the community to the university.